Is the engine's not running smoothly still. So I'm gonna erase the codes and uh, run it from scratch to see how it goes. Seems like there might be a misfire on cylinder six. So we're raising the codes. Okay, so remove the key, remove this thing, start the engine once again. the codes so misfire cylinder 6 seems to be the big problem for now so let's look at this so typically this is how I do this might be an old one I got new ones I can try to put a new one there to see how it goes not sure it's an old one so I'm gonna put it back on sometime by taking it out and put it back on it sounds weird but it works because the connection kind of grinds together and sometimes it kind of work I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put this thing back Rotating it a bit, putting back the connector. When I erase the codes and try this on, see how it goes. Plug the uh, DTC code reader, turn the key on, seeing the codes, erasing the codes. the key out, remove the connector, put the key back on and start the engine. So remove the key, put this thing in, put the key back in, turn it on, by pushing till you got all the lights, waiting for the codes. Okay, so we will replace the uh, First, I should uh, erase the codes while I'm there. So I'm gonna erase the codes and then I'm gonna replace the uh, coil pack. change the coil pack for a new one and let's see how it goes okay so let's go for removing this thing so unplug 
using this compact screwdriver. Turn the Nukoi pack in place. Let's go try this. We'll put the key on. Oh, there goes the magic. That works brand like brand new. That would be a good thing to let the car run till it reaches its temperature, which is going to be around the metal here, 120. So uh, making sure that the coolant is not leaking or anything. Sometimes when it gets warm, it might leak. Okay, one stupid thing I found about uh, misfires. I know it's really kind of stupid, but um, when you put back this cover, when you insert it back under these. Uh, wiring here when this is not there and when you set the whole thing in place it happens that sometimes that this thing when you slide it in kind of flip open the uh, some coil packs along the way and that creates uh, or can create some uh, misfire so best way is uh, when you check for misfire you check them before you put this uh, back in place if everything is good you put this back in place without screwing it in place, try it again, meaning uh, running the engine once more, make sure there is no uh, misfire. And uh, if everything's fine, then you screw this thing in place without moving it. Again, I know it sounds uh, ridiculous, but it can does it sometimes.